Hi everybody, welcome to Day Z. Now in this video, I want to sort of talk you through how you can use uh, ChatGPT AI to help you with your XML um, and different coding for Daisy, specifically when it comes to reformatting existing data that you that you can find, where normally you'd have to do a lot of copy and pasting, or a lot of find and replacing, or putting things into spreadsheets and resorting them. So, in this particular example, what I'm trying to do is create a CFG. Uh, player spawn points .xml file where the spawn points are all of the towns around Livonia so the idea is when you spawn in as a fresh spawn instead of spawning along the north sort of around here you'll spawn in at a town now in this case I couldn't find a definitive list of all the towns in Livonia with their coordinates and unfortunately ChatGP didn't know it probably because you know, there, there isn't a list that I can find however what I did know is that within the map group post.xml for Livonia, there's the list that has all of the pumps. So the land miss well pump. And you you know, we can be pretty sure that every single village or town or city in Livonia will have one of those pumps somewhere on it. And so the idea would be that all of these pumps, the the coordinates coordinates that they have, so let's just um Let's just find one here. So here we go. So here it is. So all these coordinates that you see here, that's the coordinate where a town or a village or a city would be in Livonia. So if I could extract that and then put it in this format you see here, which is the POS bubble format, great. That, that would do exactly what I need it to do. Unfortunately, when you've got things in different formats, it can be quite it can be quite time consuming to to extract. So, for example, in this case, in the map group pos, the format is pos equals, and that would be x, y, and z. So x um, sort of up and down or, or across, and and y is the altitude, and z is the horizontal, the vertical. I can't remember which way it is, and then we've got the angle at the end. So I'd have to go copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. So instead of doing that, what I can do is if I just do a uh, control F and find all of these in the current document okay and we're using notepad plus plus down here at the bottom you can see in notepad plus plus notepad plus plus there is now a list of all of the land miss well pumps um, with their coordinates next to them at the bottom so that that's an important step because we don't want the document to be too too big now what I can do I can go over to chat GPT and I can ask it a question um, and I can say, right, please can you analyze the following map group pos.xml file and extract the X and Z coordinates for the land mish well pump yellow in order for you to create a CFG player spawns code snippet for spawning fresh players next to those wells. And then it says to me, <laughs> it said, well, give me the file then. Um, now, it's important again that I didn't give it the whole file because that would be too long. So I just copied and pasted the search. So as you can see, this is, this is all the search. So I just copy and pasted that there. And it went... Yeah, brilliant. Here we go. I'm going to give you this this snippet. However, it started doing it in the wrong format. So instead of it being in the format of um, uh, generate a pos bot, po, bo, generate a pos bubbles and then pos x equals z, it was doing it like this. So I stopped it straight away. I said no, 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 and I pasted in the vanilla format and said no, this is the format. But I probably confused it because then it said all right, and it just started doing it so that was wrong so then I had to stop and think okay we need to define the question better whenever you're working with the AI when it gets things wrong it's often because you haven't formulated the question or the prompt they're often called you haven't formulated the prompt in the correct manner so I changed what I said so what I said now is I've said uh, like this so I said Please could you analyze the following map group pros.xml file and extract the X and Z coordinates for the land mish well pump yellow in order for you to create a CFG player spawns.xml code snippet for spawning fresh players next to those wells. The format should be an XML snippet that starts with generator pos bubbles. So I told it that's the header because it understands XML code. Then on a new line has position X equals the X coordinate and Z equals the Z coordinate and finishes with generator pos bottles. So I'm saying it. That's what you, that's what the format should look like. And then I then pasted in 
that that bit from the bottom here which has all the coordinates for the land mesh well pump that are all mixed up so I did that and then straight away it goes brilliant I've analyzed the provided map group post XML file and extracted the X and Z coordinates for the land mesh well pump here is the CFG player small XML code snippet for spawning fresh players next to those ones and there it is so all that copy and pasting I've avoided and the thing you, you do have to do though is you have to make sure that you do go in and you do do a little bit you do a bit of due diligence with this stuff and just check that it has got stuff because you know it can get stuff wrong and sometimes what will happen is it will stop halfway through I think this may be because I'm using chat GPT 4 and there's a lot of demand for it and every now and again it will just stop and you've just got to say continue or please start again and don't stop and that'll do it but hopefully if you've ever done any of this sort of copy and pasting and trying to reformat data that is already there this should make you go oh well that's pretty good because it means that the AI does all the donkey work it does all the real pain in the bottom stuff of having to copy and paste copy and paste and we all know that every time you do a copy and paste there's a chance that you may well make a mistake so what I'll do in the description below this video I will um, put a link to chat GPT I'm using the paid version that's why you get access to GPT for I think um, and um, I'll, it'll encourage you to there is a free version that you can get go in there and have a go and just remember it's 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 that old saying of garbage in garbage out so if you give it a rubbish question it won't give you the right answer oh one final thing I will ask, say as well is if it does give you a wrong answer about something but but it's almost right say say it's something to wrong with the formatting of the answer you can say oh could you do that again but could you do it in this format and then tell it the format and it, and it will remember what it did and tell you to do it again few okay so I'm probably gonna be doing quite a few of these AI um, videos over the next few weeks and months as I come across interesting examples that I think will be worth um, talking about um, and sharing with uh, the Daisy um, modding community out there for PC and console but if you have found the video useful please hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon